technique is you do the same thing, but then after making the chocolate, we're gonna bend the plastic so that the, the petals come out bent. But instead of having this nice flower, it's gonna be more inverted. Uh, so to actually have the plastic bent, usually what we can do is we go to our backwards. And then I take the flower and we see still we've just got petals on the skin, which is such a waste. And at the end of the day, we just scrape it off. Sticking chocolate to each other for big pieces, you always heat two sides of the chocolate, then add another tempered chocolate in between and stick them. But for tiny pieces, we can just heat and like stick them to each other, it's totally fine. So if you're doing a showpiece and you literally heat both sides and stick them together, no way is that gonna stop. It's just gonna fall halfway. So just one side, you need to make Sugar. Uh, you have to know now it is used like pretty widely and especially in um, mass production of making candies uh, because it is a kind of sugar that is 50 less sweet, 50% less sweet sorry, than regular sugar, okay? And it does resist much better regarding the humidity, okay? And before we were uh, working uh, with sugar for making short pieces, we were doing a sugar syrup made of water, uh, sucrose, so plenty of sugar, and some glucose syrup to make your sugar uh, becoming elastic to be able to cool and to blow any items. The problem, the biggest issue with this method is that if the climate is like here in Dubai, it's going to become very sticky, very fast, and it will become smart very fast. And this isomal sugar is also really convenient to work with because it is purchased in small granules. You don't have to worry about the temperature, you just need to melt down the granules fully and perfectly well. Because before when we were using uh, the sugar syrup method, you had to cook it to really precise temperature. Because if you were overcooking it, the sugar will be hard. too hard and you have to pull it in much hotter temperature. And if it's undercooked, it will like the strings for the two last person, okay? We want to use it for casting the sugar and my idea was to do a base colorized in black. Okay, since we're going to do a green apple, the contrast of color will be quite nice. And I was planning to add a bit of gold inside to have like sort of like military uh, effect that will be quite nice. To make sure your sugar is not going to stick, but you see it starts to become transparent slowly. And that's why if you put everything in once, it will take really way too much time. But you're having very good questions. I'm very happy. Yeah. Yes? Yes? Was a side, but it does help for the preservation. And uh, do you use the, the exilitol? Exilitol, not for, not for yeah. isomal yeah. sugar. No. no. It comes in sometimes in powder <laughs> or in, mm -hmm. yes. very fine or in liquid. Yes, in liquid. Yes, liquid, yeah. yes, in liquid as well. <laughs> for which recipe did you use exilitol? No, I use it as a powder or uh, as like. Be careful. I'm going to add a few drops. Yes, that's why it's better. And you see, always little by little, because the color is transparent. It's not good, but I, I'm not going to add it too much in once. Otherwise, and be careful with the steam also. And now, oh yeah, I understand why he took so big time. No. Let's see, it's more grayish than black, and I would like to have good contrast of color. And then spread the sugar on the side until it is reaching the edges of the ring. And if you need to 
add some more, do not be too slow, otherwise the sugar will start to cool down. But if we remove them right now, they will spread. Is there sugar remaining? There is little and we need to do two more. And we can pour some more, but at the same time I'm looking for the sugar spreading. It's going too much outside, just like, take the same path and bring it towards the center. See? And be careful with the sugar because I don't want you to burn again. And we want to start portioning it, but still a bit too hot. When it does stick, it does mean it's still a bit too hot. Are you see, start to stop sticking. And to give you an idea, I'm going to do the concentration and others, so that's not good for blowing properly. Yeah, it has to stick it with the vaccine again. But the other one looks more like it. This one's a bit less. Dark and while doing this again, we are incorporating our pocket cell. You see, super glossy, right? Yeah. It's nice, no? <laughs> and then, before it's getting too cold and too hard, you're going to do this. And this step is really key. I pulled it almost 20 times here. See, it's bright, it's perfect. Now, folding folding is really important. So, how we do fold, we do like this, we press. We fold. I turn, press, fold. If it's too hot, just put your hands here for a few seconds, and then take it again. It's really important because if you don't do this motion really well, you are not going to have a smooth visual aspect. And again, temperature needs to be perfectly even. And yes, I am burning my hands. Actually, you see the surface? You see it's super glossy. Yeah. So it will be perfect to extract now my sort of mushroom or jellyfish. Call it as you want, but this is the shape that we need to start for blowing. Okay, so it is hot, it's perfect. So now I'm going to fold it a bit more. Then I'm going to open my hands and while spinning, I am extracting a sort of like jellyfish or mushroom. As you want. Then with scissors, mm. you cut it, oh, cut it as close as possible from this part. Take it in your hand, do a hole in the center. Okay, with your hand. I have to be quick because it's hard to cool down already. And put it on top of your rug. Squeeze it on the proper rug. Then, slowly, I'm going to start blowing, but make sure this part is really well sealed, okay? Otherwise, the air will go out. Hold it like this, and at the beginning, be really gentle. Blow little by little, because most of the time, people blow too strong from the beginning. And if you look already, slowly, you see? Amazing. It does start to expand. Now, very important, you have to control Temperature. So what do I mean is if you keep blowing and the sugar is too hot, it will deform too much. Okay, so if you see it's too hot, use the hair dryer, the first button, the second position. It's quick, uh, the first position. It's quick but cold air. If you press on the second, it's warm. Okay, so I can start pulling it down around. And I'm going to blow little by little. I'm going to rub it to correct the shape. And since we like to do an apple, we need to pull the top with our finger a little bit. 
So we don't do GMO apple. Okay, you don't need to blow them too big. You have this one. Then you can pull. Again, you can put hold with it. If you see one part is expanding more, it does mean this area especially is too hot. Okay, so either happen, cool down especially this part. What you can do, use your cheek to, to check the temperature, sorry. Yes, I can touch, no problem. If I need to blow more, look, it's still warm, I can. And then Okay. 